a high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. There is no more mistaken path to happiness than worldliness. Compassion is the basis of morality. For the world is hell, and men are on the one hand the tormented souls, and on the other the devils in it. If we suspect that a man is lying, we should pretend to believe him. For then he becomes bold and assured, lies more vigorously, and is unmasked. Life swings like a pendulum backward and forward, between pain and boredom. Music is the melody whose text is the world. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. Sleep is the interest we have to pay on the capital which is called in at death, and the higher the rate of interest, and the more regularly it is paid, the further the date of redemption is postponed. The person who writes for fools, is always sure of a large audience. There are very few who can think. But every man wants to have an opinion, and what remains but to take it ready-made from others, instead of forming opinions for himself. To find out your real opinion of someone, judge the impression you have, when you first see a letter from them. We seldom think of what we have, but, always of what we lack. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone. And if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom. For it is only when he is alone that he is really free. Buying books would be a good thing. If one could also buy the time to read them. But, as a rule the purchase of books, is mistaken for the appropriation of their contents. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision, for the limits of the world. Great men are like eagles, and build their nest on some lofty solitude. If we were not all so interested in ourselves, life would be so uninteresting, that none of us would be able to endure it. Man can do what he wills. But, he cannot will what he wills. No rose without a thorn. But, many a thorn without a rose? Rascals are always sociable. And the chief sign that a man has any nobility in his character, is the little pleasure he takes in others company. So, the problem is not so much to see what nobody has yet seen, as to think what nobody has yet thought concerning that which everybody sees. The safest way of not being very miserable, is not to expect to be very happy. There is some wisdom in taking a gloomy view, in looking upon the world as a kind of hell and in confining one's efforts to securing a little room, that shall not be exposed to the fire. Treat a work of art like a prince. Let it speak to you first. Wealth is like sea water. The more we drink, the thirstier we become. 
and the same is true of fame. After your death, you will be what you were before your birth. Compassion for animals, is intimately associated with goodness of character, and it may be confidently asserted that he who is cruel to animals, cannot be a good man, Faith is like love, it does not let itself be forced. Hope is the confusion of the desire for a thing with its probability. Life is a constant process of dying. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. Ordinary people merely think how they shall spend their time. A man of talent tries to use it. Religion is the masterpiece of the art of animal training. For it trains people as to how they shall think. The business of the novelist is not to relate great events, but to make small ones interesting. The world is my idea. To feel envy is human, to save a schadenfreude is devilish. We forfeit three-fourths of ourselves in order to be like other people. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. Change alone is eternal, perpetual, immortal. Every parting gives a foretaste of death. Every reunion a hint of the resurrection. Happiness consists in frequent repetition of pleasure. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself. But, it is impossible to find it anywhere else. Marrying means to halve one's rights, and double one's duties. One should use common words to say uncommon things. Reading is thinking with someone else's head, instead of one's own. Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. The shortness of life, so often lamented, may be the best thing about it. To be alone is the fate of all great minds, a fate deplored at times. But, still always chosen as the less grievous of two evils. We can regard our life, as a uselessly disturbing episode in the blissful repose of nothingness. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please share like and subscribe to our channel. Success for all of us.